So I'm Charlie, and you can go ahead and introduce yourself on here. Okay, I'm Audrey Kurtzinger. All righty, and um, so how long have you been acting for? What inspired you to do acting? I don't know. I guess it's just always been an attraction to me to sort of just get out of my element, get out of my own head, um, and just... I really appre always appreciated the art uh, that comes with crafting, or I'm sorry, that comes with acting. <laughs> so how do you usually prepare for a role? So it depends. Um, if I am, for instance, a recent audition for wit, um, I had to have an accent. So depending on what the character is, asking for, um, whether it's accents or um, attitude, placement, uh, demeanor, that sort of thing. Um, I just try to do my research. Um, for instance, if it's English or British, I try to watch uh, YouTube videos or even just regular movies, TV shows um, with fellow actors that may be portraying characters that fit that same description that I'm looking for. Ooh. Personally, the most challenging role for me would probably be anything that has to do with seduction or coming off as like a sex appeal, if you will. Yeah. I, I cannot do that. I have, I'm not good at flirting I am not <laughs> that is hard core acting skills anytime that has to be there uh my biggest strength is for sure comedy comedy mm -hmm. my biggest one is like the sassy one like this, yeah yeah that one's sass, so easy to sass play. is right there with mine yes ma'am sass is right there right underneath my comedic yeah comedy yeah. sass and then drama Mm -hmm. It's probably the order that it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so who is like your biggest inspiration in the acting world? Oh, Lucille Ball. Okay. Hands down. <laughs> if modern times, it would be more or less like Sandra Bullock or Jennifer Aniston. I've been following them since oh. I was preteen. But yeah, as far as overall classics, Lucille Ball. Lucy all the way. <laughs> so, um... How do you handle criticism with performances? Because um, I know like some people struggle with that. And mm -hmm. how do you typically handle it? Sure. So it is hard. Um, nobody ever, I mean, nobody likes being told to correct something or to do something different than what they're doing. Uh, so it is hard at first. Um, so sometimes it does take me a minute, depending on how it's being presented. Uh, but... I, for instance, on Murder by Association, my first film, which was done last year, I looked for that criticism because I'd never done film. I'd never been in front of a camera. I would like ask. And, you know, if I felt like I wasn't getting anything, I would ask for it because I want to do better. I want to learn. I want to know how to fully make the best impact I can with this character and in this field because it was completely new to me. Uh, but it is hard. Um, again, nobody, nobody likes criticism. It all has to do with how it's being presented, but the biggest part is just to remember that when you are receiving that criticism, especially if it's from your director or from a fellow senior actor, somebody maybe that's done this for several years, yeah. it's to make you better yes. and it is to secure not only this character, but hopefully maybe future characters for you as well. What advice would you give to um, other actors that are coming into the acting world? Do not give up. You will receive a thousand no's before you receive your one yes. <laughs> but it is, there's nothing like it. There's yeah. nothing like it. When you get that one yes and you're on set, I was trying to explain this to my husband not too long ago and it's, it's just, it sounds cliche, it sounds a little cheesy, but it's just magic. I mean, there's nothing else short of it. So yes, you will receive way more no's than you receive yeses, but keep going. 
See, I actually, um, I got lucky because I already worked for Whitman and he was like, do you want to do this? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Cause like I get very nervous in front of people anyway. So I was like, I don't okay. know if I can pull that off. So he spent like months working with me before I got there. And then I was like, oh gosh, I'm actually going to be on set. And then like everyone was super nice and super welcoming, it helped so much. And like I did, I looked for the, I looked for like the feedback and criticism because I really want to do the best job I could. Um, like one of my things is, is cause like I'm used to playing sports. So I'm used to being coached. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why do I have to tell you how I want you to say the lines for you to say them that way? And I'm like, because I'm used to being told what to do. Like, yeah, absolutely. You want to deliver what they're looking for. I get it. I get it. It's in that, 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 (laughs) because I struggle with the same when they say, just, you know, do your own thing. No. What are you looking for? What are you, what, what are you expecting to get from this? So if you, (laughs) you're, you're preaching to the right one. I'm, I'm the same (laughs) one. So how do you balance your acting career and like the rest of your life? So that's difficult. Um, I do have a full-time job Monday through Friday, eight to five. Um, So fortunately for me, I work for a company that, you know, I do have vacation time. Uh, So I do have to, even for applying for Mm -hmm. positions, I have to be very careful and very mindful of, do I actually have the time? to commit to this because yes, acting is my dream job. It is what I want to do. I would love to be able to do it full time, but until I get that momentum going, this is my full-time job. This is what pays my bills. Yeah. The acting is what feeds my heart. You know, like this is what pays my bills and to feed me and my husband and the acting is what feeds my heart and my soul. So it it's it can be very difficult, um, especially because it's not very common to come across films, full films being yeah. com- done and completely shot within a week. Um, you know, and that's pretty cool, pretty typical vacation requesting time. Uh, I'm very fortunate. My husband's very understanding and knows that this is and will always be my job. Uh, or my my passion I mean Uh, Mm -hmm. so he's very understanding when I have to be away for several days or even a week um, at a time he's also very understanding that even when I come back it may take me a few days to get out of character yeah Uh, so he's he's been he's been really good about being supportive on that thankfully so so can you tell us about what you know with your role coming up on the next project on this project Sure. So my understanding of my role is that I am Lady Rosalind and my, from what I've read through the description, um, and I think he even titled me the diplomat on one part, I am trying to make peace between our world, which is, you know, the vampires and the human world. I'm trying to make a bridge. I'm trying to make there be unity between us two um and you know throughout this competition i'm rooting for one particular young lady i think yeah i think you're rooting for me yeah oh okay okay yeah i'm playing i'm 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 protect i'm uh you know i'm rooting for you the whole time so we're kind of i'm supporting you and i'm rooting for you show that I'm rooting for mm-hmm. you if that makes sense like you know it's kind of like behind the scenes but basically my understanding is I see you as being the new me mm-hmm. uh, but yeah so basically I'm gonna be sort of one of the top dogs and I'm pretty excited <laughs> I am too I'm so so excited to be back on set it's so much fun I yeah. I had so much fun last time and I like I was, right before I was like I cannot believe Whitman talked me into this I can't believe I'm about to do this and he was like Charlie you have this you got this and I was like okay I'm gonna do it and we're gonna see how this goes because I was like you know I don't want to go out and do a bad job like that was my main concern is like what if I just do terrible and I ruin the whole thing because I'm one of the main people <laughs> which I didn't do bad at least from what I've heard I did pretty all right 
So well, good. I'm I'll, sure you did fantastic. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely take it over. You know, doing terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for the interview. I really appreciate it. Oh, is that it? That was easy. Oh, 